Vanderveer, uh, we'll begin with an opening statement before taking questions. To, so to ask a question, please use the raised hand function of the participants uh, tab. So uh, coach, go right ahead. Well, first of all, um, I just want to congratulate Colorado. They, uh, they played very inspired basketball. We had uh, two really close games with them last year, uh, games that easily could have gone either way. And I think this game was uh, kind of the third game like that, where this, this game could have gone either way. But um, we really, uh, um, we, we did not defend Holland Shed uh, worth a darn. I mean, she had her way with whoever was guarding her. Uh, you know, we just, uh, you know, we, did, we didn't do a good enough job uh, in that, that respect. Um, last year, uh, when we went zone against them, that didn't work very well either. So uh, um, we really tried to put different people on her. Uh, we fouled too much, sent them to the free throw line. Um, we just really, uh, you know, we, we did not have the ball moving the way we needed to. We started out very well, uh, but we were not able to continue uh, what we started with. So um, I'm very disappointed with kind of how we played, and we're just going to have to learn from it and get better. Okay, questions for Coach Vanderveer? First, uh, first question will be from uh, Jacob Rayburn. Go ahead, Jacob. Hi, Coach. Hi, Jacob. Uh, could you uh, kind of uh, elaborate a bit on, on defensive effort of, of the, your team and where Colorado was most successful in attacking your defense? You know, well, really, uh, they, you know, uh, Holling Shed um, pretty much had her way with whoever was guarding her. Um, she hit face up shots, she hit threes, there was mix ups defensively. We're, we were not, we, we did not lock in defensively. Uh, we're not, we were not aggressive enough. Um, you know, we just, uh, uh, just, just did not do the work, to be honest with you. Um, I thought Anna worked very hard defensively on Sherrod. Um, you know, she got past her a couple of times and got to the basket, but uh, Hollingshed was the, the name of the game. Uh, then um, number three, uh, Frida, you know, hit a big three. Uh, you know, I think uh, you know, Kiana didn't take away that, that one shot on her. Um, and we just, we just, we weren't, uh, we weren't, weren't playing inspired basketball. And that's, that's disappointing. Um, so, you know, they just, uh, you know, the, we, we just have to, we have to really uh, look at our video and uh, get people's attention. And a follow up on Anna, uh, she does so many of, I guess what you would call the small things on the court really well. Uh, how do you explain a player who's able to so consistently be in the right spot, make a savvy play the way she does? Yeah, she, um, you know, she did a lot of really good things. Um, and I, I know she'd like to take that pass back that went right right to uh, Sherrod, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, she, she's a competitor and she's, uh, she, she wants to win. I think she took this hard. Uh, we, need a, we need everyone on our team to take it hard. Thanks, Coach. Uh, next question is from Michael Roberson. Go ahead, Michael. All right, Coach, I'm, I'm not going to get into anything that's going to be questioning what the refs did, but what was the explanation on the play where camera got pushed and then the other scenario is when the ball went in the backcourt, where the young lady threw it in the backcourt and shouldn't have been allowed to touch it. So what happened in those two plays? You're right. Can't. There's nothing you can say about them. I mean, you know, I disagree, but it doesn't matter. They, they make the calls and they, um, you know, they're the judge and jury. Okay, next question is from Kyle Fredrickson. Go ahead, Kyle. Hey, Tara, this is Kyle Fredrickson of the Denver Post. I just wanted to ask you quickly about uh, your success recruiting players from the state of Colorado, obviously with three on the roster, and it seems more on the way. What is it about the state that you've liked in terms of its talent and, and what's allowed you to be successful recruiting here? I mean, I think Stanford offers a different package than, uh, you know, for the most part, the, the, the great universities, the great state universities that are large, you know, we're a small private school. And, uh, you know, I think that we have a, you know, tradition in basketball and we're, you know, obviously we want to continue that. And there's some, they're great players, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, Ashton or Fran uh, or Jana, uh, we're very excited about them. And, you know, obviously future pro players that we're looking at. But I also think it's, uh, they have excellent high school basketball. Obviously this year is different, but uh, high school basketball and club basketball. 
Okay, next question is from RJ Abadia. Go ahead, RJ. Hey, Coach. It was an uncharacteristic day for Fran. I'm just curious about your initial thoughts about what Colorado was able to do to her, with her, and just kind of how she played from your opinion. You know, Fran's really improved a lot. And, you know, she didn't, uh, you know, she was, her shot was really off. Uh, a lot of people's shot was really off. But, um, you know, she's got to help us defensively and rebounding. You can't just be dependent on your shot. So when, you know, we're struggling from the field as we were with Fran and, uh, and Kiana um, and, you know, uh, other people just, you know, not, uh, you know, we're throwing the ball around, kind of throwing the ball away. Uh, you got you to gotta help us at the defensive end and be a, a lockdown defender and a great rebounder. And we're fouling instead of uh, playing great defense. And then just the last thing for me, did you feel like Colorado was kind of daring you guys to drive a little more than what you typically see? You know, they, you know, they play aggressive defense and you've got to be able to put the ball on the floor. You've got to be able to move the ball. Uh, you've got to be able to, uh, you know, we had, we had a nice backdoor pass to Anna, um, but you've got to be able to play with pace and be aggressive. Um, you know, and we weren't. Thank you, coach. Uh, next question is from uh, Ben Paris. Go ahead, Ben. Hey, Tara, I was just wondering how when you guys have kind of been on this tour without really having a place to call home. Um, you had three players from Colorado here today. Uh, when you guys were in uh, the Bay Area, it was right by Haley Jones's house. You know, she was five minutes away from her house, but staying in a hotel. What do you think that's provided for the team to kind of, you know, they're kind of sharing each other's hometowns, and it feels like there's a little bit of home, even though they haven't been able to call Stanford home all season. Well, you know, one, and coming here, the, you know, parents of, uh, you know, our three Colorado players, you know, all brought, um, you know, treats to the hotel and, you know, everyone's trying to get through this together. And, um, you know, I'm not going to deny that it's a, it's a challenge, but um, there's no excuse. Uh, Colorado uh, outplayed us. They were more aggressive. They, uh, they were extremely motivated for this game and their players stepped up and we didn't. Um, and that's on everyone, that's on the players, that's on the coaches. Um, I have to do a better job. Um, everyone, everyone in our, uh, on our, in our program has to do a better job. All right, next question is from uh, Romy Bean. Romy, go ahead. Uh, hi, Coach. I was uh, wanted to go back to, to the three Colorado girls, and uh, I was just curious with Fran, Jana, and Ashton, why are they good fits for your program, for your team? Well, I think it starts with uh, the fact that they're, um, they're outstanding players, but they're also outstanding students. And so that's the combination that we're looking for. And people. So it's a, a kind of a three, four. Okay. Uh, we're going to, sorry. Um, we'll have one more question. That'll be from uh, Michelle Vopel. Uh, Michelle, go ahead. Yeah, coach, you talked about some disappointment a little bit in terms of aggression and, and different defense and different things. How do you think this team will respond? Obviously, the first loss of the season. Um, what do you think you'll see from your kids in response to this? You know, Michelle, I, I, I hope I see uh, uh, I hope I see people uh, digging in a lot deeper, uh, working a lot harder, coming out uh, to play UCLA, which will be a very tough game for us, uh, and USC this weekend. And it doesn't get easier for us. Um, you know, so I, I hope that our team, I hope that this really bothers people and gets under their skin and they decide that, that, that uh, you know, we want to play uh, basketball at a different level. But um, it, it, it was really disappointing to me. Thank you, Coach. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, and we'll just, we're just having Coach uh, Vanderveer here today and, and not any players available. So thank you very much for joining us. All right. Thank you. Stay well.